Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of Eight, and today I'm playing puzzle game Harry Tales. Uh, we'll just launch right into it. It offers three environments that have about 25 levels each, so we'll just kind of go through all three of them uh, real quick, and I'll kind of explain what's going on. So I'll kind of st start in the middle here. Basically, what you have to do is guide your character, which is the guy with the crazy hair, towards the exit at the bottom. And while you do, there's two things you have to do. You have to clear all the corruption by picking up this stone right here. And then you also have to, as an option, collect all the mushrooms uh, that basically affect your score that doesn't really mean anything. What they do is they run in a straight line. So... Um, what you have to do is you can rotate and move tiles. So what do you want to do is avoid this guy, which is what I'm going to end up doing here. So I'm going to have him run over to the right, pick up the stone, and then kind of head towards the exit. If I can click correctly, you click on him, and away he goes. It's that easy, folks. It's that easy. So there you go. That's the game. Uh, now, it'll throw some, you know, crazy obstacles at you. Like trees and rocks make your character turn around. And some things that you can't move. And various enemies like the, the little green guy right here that you want to try to avoid. Um, so... And there's also little hints right here, so eat the garlic before going through. So obviously that's what I want to do there. So what I'm going to do, I can't move that for some reason. Alright, so I'm going to do what? It's going to run this way, so he'll run down. And then I'm going to pick up the arrow and kind of move him up and around, I guess. Alright, see what happens. There you go. Alright. Oh! Uh, that's right. I forgot that he goes back there. Alright, so he has his garlic. I oh, know he has to do redo the garlic. Alright. Alright, I forgot that you turn around at the start. Okay, so now I, now I know what I need to do this time. Uh, the good news is, is when you pick stuff up, the first time it actually saves your progress. Which is kind of cool, so you don't have to like re-pick it up. All right. Yeah, go straight. There we go. I don't know if this is gonna complete it because of this thing. Move that back there so it'll clear it. There we go. So you can actually purposely fail, so you'll pass the next mission, which is interesting. Um. My main complaint about the interface is you can't, like, rotate your view at all, which makes it kind of hard to see, especially with these fence things that are blocking the view of it, basically. Makes it hard to see where you're supposed to be going. So, let's see. What do I want to do here? Alright, let me attach this here. Have him go to that hole, which I'll make... Oh. Well, that was weird. <laughs> I was going to say I was going to pick that up and then make him go over here or something. I don't know. Oh, I can't do that. This one's kind of hard. But the good news is you can actually skip any level. Boom. Done. If you get stuck. And it may, it lets you do that an unlimited number of times, which is fantastic. I hate puzzle games that like make you get stuck. Or any game, for that matter. Platform games, whatever. That make you stay at a certain level. Oh, it's so annoying. Um, and I'm glad that this one actually lets you skip. So I'm going to do... This is pretty straightforward, I think. Just up and around, and then I'll turn the arrow back up. So as you, you know, you can mess with stuff in real time here. Hey. 
There you go. Like, you know, being able to skip the levels. Like, this one was way easier than the last one. You know, makes up for the inconsistency in the game, so. Uh, well, you got the idea for that one. Let's choose a different uh, set of levels here. We're gonna down here. There we go. Uh, so, what do we have here? Let's see what the help says. Harry's fire a cannon and then move left. Okay. All right, yeah, I see what, okay, and then I'll move that over. All right, so you go there. Oh. All right, well, maybe not. Uh, I guess I can rotate that, can't I? All right, let's try that again. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, except that guy's in the way, isn't he? <laughs> Dang it. Guess I could just do this. I don't know if that guy will shoot that guy or not. Let's find out. The answer is... Yes, it does. Okay. Now we go. Okay. Well, you're stuck. All right, well, let's just redo it now that I know what I'm doing. There we go. So, you know, there's some fairly ingenious solutions to the puzzles, I would say. Um, the solutions aren't as flexible as I'd like to see, but the ability to skip levels basically counteracts that, so... You got that going for you, which is nice. Oh. Okay. All right. So I got to aim this towards them. All right. All right I'm just going to drag the arrow over, I think. I don't know if that trajectory is going to work. We'll find out. I'm going to go with... No, it doesn't. Ouch. Right, let's try that again. So this one worked. Actually, I don't even need that arrow there, do I? This one needs to be like that maybe I don't know maybe I can drag that out there we go yeah I guess there's some freedom in choosing your solutions see I can't see the arrow as to which way he's gonna go I think he's gonna go this way I, I don't know I can't see because you can't rotate like I said. So we're gonna have to keep our eyes on what's going on here. Okay. Whew. Quick maneuvering with the uh, the arrow saved me on that one. There we go. Not the most elegant solution, but good enough for me. All right, the little uh, fish things teleport. So hmm. all right, so I'm gonna have you fire. I would imagine, although that placement doesn't make any sense. All right, then I'll move. You know, teleport. I need him moving down, though. Alright, here, we'll just kind of move people. This is where I wish I could... I need him moving down, because when you go in a teleporter, 
the direction you go is the direction that's... Alright. Let's see here. Ah! Not fast enough. Alright. Skip level. Too hard. <laughs> and then we'll do a couple in the last environment. Uh, the ones with the little stone things, you can't move. Which obviously makes it difficult. Hmm. I think it's time to go to the last environment. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I got a swamp guy here. It's about the lot furthest I got here. I've skipped some levels, you know, basically when it becomes too difficult, just give up. That's an important lesson in life, kids. Alright, so let's go. What do I want to do here? I guess I can move these, can't I? Yeah, I can. Alright, so let me go up. And then that'll make you go up. And then I'm going to have to move the arrow over to here, basically. That stuff slows them down and makes it easier to place stuff. Oh, crap. Alright, let's try that again. I guess I have to move the teleporters again. I think that's what they want. Yeah, that's what they want you to do. Alright. So when he goes... No! Thinking guy, I was right there. All right. Uh, all right, try it again. There we go. This should be all right. I'm not gonna get that last mushroom, but at least I'll clear to the exit. There we go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Can I move this? No, I can't. Yeah. Too difficult. A lot of puzzles. You know, I think some of them they have pretty specific solutions on it, so. Uh, let's try to do one more here before I fail out. Hello. Alright, what do I want to do here? You're going to head down first. Alright, well I'm going to head you back up. Hit that. I'm going to have to... This is going to be like arrow crazy, I think. There's the... That, that guy distracts the enemy here. Let's see what the help says. Yeah, I know I do. Oh, he goes up first, doesn't he? All right. All right. Well, you go that way. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. All right. Now I have this, don't I? Darn it. Alright. Uh, no, he's not gonna... Alright. There we go. <laughs> I didn't get any mushrooms, but I still cleared it. Uh, yeah, still beat it, technically. Oh, well, there you go. That's Harry Tails. Uh, you know, some fairly innovative ideas. Uh, you know, ca characters walk on their own. You have to sometimes in real time manipulate the paths that they go. Kind of a combination of like lemmings, I guess, and like more of a, you know, 
isometric perspective. Uh, you know, some of the solutions aren't as flexible as I like them to see, like them to be, but uh, you know, the ability to skip any level in a limited number of times really kind of saves the game from being too frustrating. So if it gets too hard, you can just skip it uh, and move on to the next puzzle. So uh, that's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.